Stephanie Smith, agronomist with Golden Harvest covering Indiana. Today I was called out on a field because it looked a little yellow and the, and the crop was looking a little stunted. Here on these coarse textured sands in northern Indiana, it hasn't rained for a while. And what we traditionally see with these coarse textured sands in Indiana is we typically have the ability to be damaged by a grub called the Asiatic garden beetle. What we have in this field is we're starting to see Asiatic garden beetle grub feeding damage. What this grub looks like, it looks like your typical, typical Japanese beetle, but on the mouth part there's an additional white sac next to that jawline. This Asiatic garden beetle grub will do, because it's so hot, because they're looking for nutrients, they will actually come in and they will take down a corn plant. So, you know, what do we do? Asiatic garden beetles typically feed in this B2 to B5 growth stage. So what we can do with managers at this point, we can't rectify the Asiatic garden beetle grub, but we can encourage crop growth. Once this cornfield gets to V6 and beyond, it is hard for these grubs to fully take down this plant. So what we could do, we could come in here and side dress with nitrogen along with sulfur because we're seeing some intervenal chlorosis and a little bit of potassium because we've been so dry. It's just not plant available. You know, what we can do a, a following year is we may look to have a little bit more robust seed treatment in that plant uh, on that seed. But at this point in time, we really can't rectify the Asiatic garden beetle grub. So in conclusion, on these sands, go out and take a look. We're starting to see that feeding damage. And what we can do as managers is we can go ahead and we can encourage crop growth through side dressing, feeding it fertility across our geography.